Newton County. Uh, I live about a mile from the National Forest. I don't want nuisance elk on my land, destroying my fences, eating my garden, my fruit trees, my pasture, uh, bringing diseases that can spread to deer, cattle, and other animals in the area. Uh, but I'm not going to have any control or say over this once the elk are formally allowed, you know, once the U.S. Forest Service starts managing the National Forest for elk. This is kind of this project, the Bearcat Hollow project, uh, the Forest Service and the Game and Fish Commission started planning this project 11 years ago. And they did not advertise meetings to the public, and the public really didn't know about it until it came out in the forest plan in 2005. Uh, that all of a sudden this uh, Bearcat Hollow and Wildlife Habitat Improvement Project over there in the Richmond Creek area, it got pushed through with the whole forest plan. It's a 10-year plan, and, you know, all they've got in there is about a paragraph saying the Forest Service is going to start managing the National Forest for an ever-expanding elk herd on the National Forest. And I don't think that... Uh, I know they haven't done any kind of serious environmental review of what the uh, impact of the elk on the native environment is, and the Forest Service and the Game and Fish Commission, they have to go into these areas and completely clear the forest, burn it, herbicide it, because the elk, they can't, these Rocky Mountain elk cannot survive in the natural Ozark National Forest. It has to be turned into pasture. It's making our uh, you know, our tax dollars are now going to the Game and Fish Commission and the Forest Service to grow pasture for a species that they brought here from Colorado that they're going to try to expand all over the 